we're coming out of film here. Dave, we get those lights off again. That was great the last time. This is another documentary. I know Russia has been in the news uh, a lot, and we may find ourselves wondering how did Russia end up being run by a bunch of billionaire oligarchs when they were a communist country not that long ago? Chapter 8, The Fall of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union, the largest communist land, had 15 republics that were centrally planned. In the Soviet structure, Moscow organized all the big republic of Russia, plus the ones that were small. This communist form of public-owned industries had central planning providing all the necessities up-to-date little goods come faster if there's computers. They could not stay modern with just big central leaders. And since World War II, East Europe had been divided in ways that were not what each place would have decided. There was not enough freedom, just one old gang in the middle. The war budget too large and people's voices too little. Then 1985 brought a younger guy to the top. And this guy Gorbachev wanted these problems to stop. Gorbachev started Glasnost for free speech and free news. It was fine for the first time to express many views. And Gorbachev's perestroika brought democratizations. For the first time, elections let people steer their own nations. When the Berlin Wall fell, Gorbachev was surprised. But he slowed the arms race and won the Nobel Peace Prize. But then through East Europe, former Soviet states voted to break from the Union and control their own fates. So Gorbachev sighed, but chose democracy's course. He said, we'll keep things together just with discussions, not force. Old communist leaders feared changes too fast. Gorby's reform plans couldn't leave the union in the past. But old oh, new voters want change to come faster. So his middle reform plans soon were facing disaster. See, as Soviet president, Gorbachev wasn't defeated. But each republic's president now had strength just like he did. And Russia's president Yeltsin wanted more strength by far. So they drafted new plans for a looser USSR. But before this new compromise could be implemented, eight conservative communists launched a coup to prevent it. They kept Gorbachev trapped, but people rushed out to help defend the communist Congress they had elected themselves. And Yeltsin joined the people, so the coup met defeat. But the old communist party now really looked obsolete. So when Gorbachev returned, he was the leader of zero. The union structure was dead. Each nation had its own hero. The Soviet Union is now no more, he announced. And Gorbachev left, and then Yeltsin just pounced. He said, now is the time for the big free market test. Public resources should open for the rich to invest. But when the parliament leaders and the public protested, Yeltsin ordered the army to have them killed or arrested. So all profits went private or were bought up offshore. Millions and millions of normal people turned poor. And that's how the Soviet Union died before it enjoyed the system Gorbachev wanted fixed instead of destroyed.